I'm traveling this week. It's an international trip, which means long haul flights, sleep deprivation, and heaps of junk food. The kind of stuff that always results in bad skin. Oh, it's you. You look terrible. Old, tired, and old. To save myself the embarrassment of a face peppered with pimples, I've devised a plan. Three air travel tips to make sure you don't cross the line when it comes to your body. One, keep the crap to a minimum. Aircraft meals can be the most unappetizing servings you'll ever come across, especially if you travel economy like me. But it's hard to turn down a meal you've already paid for. Chances are, you'll probably want to make the most of your ticket. Why not? Why not? Eat, but try to keep the balance by not overindulging at the airport. That's enough! Instead of that big cheeseburger or bacon and egg roll, how about a light fruit juice or smoothie? It'll satisfy your cravings without the toxic additives. Your body is a temple. Two, stay hydrated. While on the flight, aim to drink at least 250 ml of water every hour. A can of Coke is 375 ml, so this is slightly less than that. And if you need to use the restroom on board, don't leave it to the last minute, or you'll end up having to hold it for 30. How much longer? Air at higher altitudes has a humidity of 10 to 20 percent. Ground air humidity is 40 to 70. That's a big difference, and it can cause some serious dehydration. Dehydrated skin lacks water. Three, sleep. When you're not wide awake and observing my 60-minute hydration plan, you should be resting. Extended periods of exposing your eyes to active screens will only fatigue and dry them out. Give yourself and your body a break. You are on holiday. Why not get one of those neck pillows so you're supported while you sleep? Don't buy them at the airport, though. Prices at Duty Free range from $30 to $60 for a single pillow. I picked one up from my local Paddy's Market for four bucks. Winning! If you've got a holiday coming up and you're planning to fly somewhere, use these tips and let me know how you go. If you've got some of your own, share them on Insta at MTE Podcast. MTE Podcast is produced by me, Niall Fernandez. All thoughts and opinions are my own. I record a new episode weekly, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week.